How's it going everyone, and welcome to the fifth episode of the Solo series. A Zavi series going past four episodes, what is this? Yeah, I can't believe it either boys, but if you are enjoying it, make sure to leave a like and if we can get to 2500, I'll have the next episode out for you guys in about three days or so. Last time the story really ramped up, as a tribe called the Slappers tried to hit my base, and after learning they were allies with Sazon, the tribe that had raided me a few episodes back, I gave them some swift revenge. Today we continue on the journey, and we're jumping in as I went to scout the snow, to see if I could find the bases of some of the tribes I'd seen in chat on the server. There had better be a decent base up here man, that I can actually raid. If there's anyone I'm expecting to find up here, it's Tribe of Moose, because they were going this direction. Nothing up here. Wow. Ooh, is that a sheep? Hello sheepy sheepy. Level 120. Ooh, Ragnarok. They're getting plan X from that's a metal base with a stone gate, that's 1c4. Could be worth to hop into that, so we'll put a rally point down at it. Level 95 Argentavis, you will do. Two level 95 RGs, perfect. So these RGs would be ideal backups, as because the ones I tamed got meat ran when I first got raided, I only had the one RG left. And if that died, I'd be in a whole load of trouble. So I quickly made a trap, led it in and tamed it up, and the overs that I found came in clutch with mutton as well. For now that we need to dip out, we need to go and hit Ragnarok, and then we need to try and get Ahsoka. We need to try and find a Quetzal so we can bring Ahsoka over to hit SN. What the hell? A fucking cannon? What in God's fucking name? No way someone's taming a Titanosaur already, right? I might just blow this open now. They've got a fucking- maybe they've just got this out of a drop, but I don't really want to take a chance. It's 1c4 I'm just going to check that out after I tame this Rex, I think. Bit more base defense kind of shebangs. I'm going to try and get some more up in the turrets. What is this looking like? 242. I think we had like a couple of turrets with like fuck all ARB. The plant necks are now midlings, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, this is now a midling, so hopefully it becomes a fruitling soon. That's the final stage. This turret has 240 bullets, that's fine. I want to just try and block this off with spikes, if I can. I'm not sure if we can, though. 75 bullets, that's now topped up a little bit. I mean, we can try and stop someone from getting there by doing a spike wall like that, maybe? That might just make it worse. I don't know. We're just going to have to gamble and hope that that doesn't happen. And we'll finally top that turret up. And I want to go hit that base with a cannon on real quick, but then also go and hit Ragnarok, who are tribed up somewhere. You drop outside my base, give big loot. Ooh, 300 melee plus battle tartar, plus 150 pike could go pretty dummy. But yeah, with that all done, I think I'm going to head over to Ragnarok's base in the snow and see if I can raid that. I might bring along some stuff to repair flak though, because yeah. Or I'll just bring a second set. Right, let's see what we have here. It was literally a stone gate last time. So, certainly don't expect anything di hard, that's an Alpha Carno. Yeah, so, it still doesn't look like there's anything here that is a real concern. They've been on recently. They were here four minutes ago. Okay, we'll hide this behind here, we'll just literally roll up and see for the, this thing. Take the spread out of that. Oh, what? Where's the gen? Oh, it's right there. I'm done. They had a turret in here, inside their base. Oh, I, I want to loot this before he comes back, preferably. They've got nothing in here, bro. Thatch. Um, a little bit of track. If I get fucking any elevator tracks and drops, I can demo them with that, but what is this? Where is their farm? Fertilizer. Fertilizer. Where is their juice? Do I kill the Thames? This is a really good die wolf. Yeah, like, what the hell? I mean, I'll take the hide, but... Where is their stuff? How have they got, like, turrets and stuff? Where's their poly? Where's their pearls? They must have another base somewhere. I need those sims, actually. Yoink. But yeah, they've got to have some uh, another base somewhere, right? And also, they were, they were like here just before. Is that him? Tribe of Lancelot. Okay, well, that didn't do anything. Oh, these are pin coded. Why are these pin coded but the others aren't? Were those the pin coded ones? I think they were. But they had nothing. Well, at the very least, we can take the fertilizer out of these. So, I do kind of need the fert. The literal biggest profit thing we got from this raid was shit. I can't help but be disappointed in that, I really thought we were onto something with this base. Especially when I saw the turret inside, but they have to have another base. My armor got kind of scuffed there too. What the hell? 
This must be their actual base. This fucking raft. They've got forges in here and everything. How? Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Firstly, we need to pick them up. Wait, let's just. Do By doing this, we can kill the Argy as well. Is he naked on that? Let me just. Real quick. Okay, that missed. Oh, this. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, shit. They've got two people now. This is not gonna be easy. Hit the guy. Go straight up so we can't grapple. He had a shotgun. Now he's on the RG. This is rough. I know exactly how I'm going to raid this. I can't have this doed moving off the raft. Picked him again. Okay, perfect. I can use that. Let's start your base open. Okay, I'm in somehow. I, I think I just glitched in. I don't even know how I got in there. Well, I know how I got in, but I shouldn't. I shouldn't have been in. Do they have beds in here? Don't think so. Yeah, this has to be their juice, bro. Um, Smithy. Oh yeah. They do have beds here. Come on, bed, please die. I don't know if I dropped the beds on the main base though. Alright, that bed's down. That camp that thing has nothing. Um I think he's on the tap the RG now I can hear it moving around. That's a better helmet than Prim. Hide. There's no there's no juice in here. Do they have juice on their tames? Take the oil, because we don't have much oil and it's a pain to go out to the snow and get. I got consumables. Um come on, this there has to be juice in here from these on these boxes or something. Uh cannon! Pistol, ammo, narcotics, laser attachment, fuck it, yoink. Stone behemoth gateway, that's a load of mats that I can demo. I mean, I'll yoink that. Okay, that could have some stuff. Let's demo, put this all back in here. The cannon's good for resource, and I could actually tame a titan maybe, but nah, probably not. Oh, fuck off. have to say, this is pretty lacking. They've got turrets and shit, like, I don't know. Maybe I expect too much from bases like this. But like, when I have rafts, I'm often kitted the fuck out. They might have stuff on their tames, bro. Like at this point, you never know. If I have Enduro Stew and Battle Tartar, then I become a literal beast with this pike. So much so that I could probably kill all this. Oh, that fucking body just despawned. In fact, no, this feels wrong. I'm not gonna kill any more of their tames. I just wanna see that good RG. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, these teams have to go. Am I stuck in here now? There is no way. <laughs> okay, wow. Am I gonna have to try and C4 to blow this shit up? Dude, what? Can I get my RG to come here? Come in here, RG. Get me out. Oh, dude. I'm dying to battle Tartar anyway. At the very least, I just want to be able to put my stuff on my RG. I hear grenades. What the fuck's happening out there? I'm out of battle Tartar now, so I'm healing. Maybe I just relog. Fuck it, we'll relog. Don't know if that'll fix it, but we might as well try. Bro! I'd lost my gear set, all of the supplies I'd got from the raids, and my best RG, all due to getting glitched in a raft. While they killed my RG and whistled their teams on me, all I could do was sit around and watch. That might be one of the most painful 30 seconds I've ever had on this game, and worst of all, that RG was my only flyer, because I had no way of getting to the level 95 I'd just tamed. It's these situations that make playing solo so rough sometimes. Come the fuck on, man. Oh my god, as if that happens. But, when you're playing solo, you just have to have the strength to continue. Well, at least that's good, good entertainment for you guys, right? Watching me want to just end myself after playing this game. Well, I'm going to take one of the Rexes up there and go and tame an RG on Metal Mountain, because that's all I can do, really. Well, I think the least we can do overnight is get some more ARB going so we're a little bit harder to soak. Because um, people were literally able to soak us with shields last time.
I am so demotivated after losing that RG. That's least I did tame another RG, but I have to go back and get it and saddle it. And oh, I didn't even know, man. Okay, so plan for me right now. I've just logged back in because I just took a little break, but I'm fine now. Uh, I'm gonna knock out an RG up here, put a saddle on, it, and then use this RG that I tame. Go over to the snow, get the RG that we're actually taming, or that we've tamed, I tamed before that and didn't bother to get. And then we'll restart this whole situation again. I did lose like my kit and a C4 debt from that, so I can't really do any big raids. What I want to do is raid that base in the snow, try with SN or something. They don't seem to have any plant X and they just have turrets, which is an ideal like trike or stego circle. And we do have a good stego saddle. So what I want to do is get a Quetzal. Now it's going to be hard as fuck to find a Quetzal, but we might have to make it happen. I can probably solo tame it as well if I use the RG grapple method. Solo taming a Quetzal is never easy, but we're just going to have to try, man. Feed up both these RGs. I don't know how much raw meat will do for this level 20 RG, but hopefully it tames fairly quickly. I just got 27 prime off of something, what the hell? I guess I, oh, that was a baby Fiomir, I think. Alright, let's take this prime and go feed our RG boys. One RG is up. Gonna name it Redemption. <laughs> let's see the stats. Oh, 400 stamina, let's go! It can barely carry me! Wait, why is this thing so low? The fuck? Me force feeding it will get it up to help full HP in no time, don't worry, gents. The fact that a level 20 RG has like double the weight of a good PT is quite funny. And the second one is up. We'll name this one uh, Resilience, because that has been a key factor in the solo wipe. But uh, yeah, let's go and grab our good RG. Maybe we can go over there to our last death and see if those guys are still there on their raft. Because I do kind of want some revenge for them killing me after I glitched into a fucking raft. Someone's asking, is Innocent Solo on? Who's that? Who? Is, I don't even know who that tribe is. Who is who? And I don't know why they would know me. I don't think I've killed any of their stuff or done anything to them. Maybe they're looking at my base and want to raid me and they're asking me if I'm on, so they're not going to raid it because I'm offline. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm saying either. Suzano so really trying to bug buddy up to me after I wiped fucking, what was it, the Shitter tribe. He says DM'd me. I've, I haven't got anything on Discord or whatever, what the fuck? I don't see the art. Uh, okay, now I do. It fucking pops in. This is really annoying me how the, the teams just pop in out of nowhere. Like, why? It'll be, we have a functioning somewhat RG now. It's really shit compared to the last one, but it works. But I checked on the server pub, by the way, and there's like 50 people now, so this seems to be the time when most people are getting on. Six silica pearls, fucking great. I'm seriously gonna need an angler to get some heavies, because this is impossible. And this base, with at least have a cannon on it, has progressed a lot. Need to hit this effective immediately. So that will probably be the last thing I do before getting off. I could even take my Rex over here, to be honest. My issue is, though, I'm not gonna have any C4 debts anymore. Fuck. I'm not going to have the pearls or the electronics to make a C4 debt, or C4 for that matter. I'm going to have to use fucking nades, unless I make rockets, because I do have a rocket launcher already, and rocket launchers don't, rockets don't actually take uh, electronics to make. We'll see what we can scrounge, but I'm pretty sure we don't have any pearls to that anymore. Either way, I'm going to be getting off pr fairly, fairly soon. We might have to use nades to raid it with a rocket launcher, but no, we can't really make rockets, can we? If only I hadn't lost that debt, man. We really are going to need to get an angler. We're going to have to just use nades for the time being, oil and gunpowder. Do we use all of our gunpowder and bullets? I think we did. If we did, that's going to be really annoying. Well, it's come to this. We are now really broke. <laughs> right, how many nades can we make? Five. We're going to need like a decent amount, because there might be an airlock in there. And the base has changed a lot, so I think those guys might be on as well. Back to nade raiding after using rockets and C4. <laughs> Fuck me, boys. Three more nades. We will now have 12. Well then, uh, I guess we'll go over on the Rex. We'll take our RG with us, and we'll pray that we get something worth. I just want a decent raid to end off the night, and then I can go to bed. <laughs> it's, it has all of a sudden just hit me how broke I am now, and the extra life rates are done. This is, feels like old Ark, I'm taking my Rex over to a raid. Like, what is going on? I need to pray that I remember that where it is as well. Should I roar at them to announce myself before we raid? Do it like Ark trailer style? If only there was a wood gate I can bite my way through, and a load of guys on the other side. All right. Here's the base. Scam her up real quick. Oh fuck, this is gonna be annoying to rocket. Not not to rocket, to blow with grenades. I might have to go in from the side. Because this ramp is gonna be the grenades are gonna bounce off. But then this might be an airlock, so I'm gonna go in from here, I think. But why'd you go in on from the ceiling? A ceiling has 10k HP. This has also 10k HP. I think if I throw in here, will it just chill here? Yeah. Okay, these things are all on neutral. So let's kill these with the Rex. But are these guys online? I didn't check. Yes, well they, yeah. They, they were at the base 16 minutes ago. So now know that we're trying to raid their base. This Rex is really not doing enough damage, holy shit. You know, maybe I leave this thing on neutral and it just deals with them.
Please deal with them, Chonky. Thank you. Right, we're in. He's not online, okay. Just first set of flak. Meanwhile, just absolute chaos is erupting outside. Oh, this is worth! I mean, it's alright. Uh, it's probably the most worth raid so far. Another good set of flak. Let's chop up this P2. I just see the paste and the pearls and the metal. Oh, okay, that doesn't work. Fine. He's dead. Why am I glitching all over the place, man? Pestle, spoiled meat, pestle, gunpowder, let's get that crafting. Dude, if my Rex dies to these fucking RGs, like, it's just, they're just so hard to hit. Oh my days, Chonky! There's no way you're going to die to a bunch of RGs. Holy shit, you're, you, these Rexes are not worth it. Like, are you actually kidding me? This thing is actually going to die to the RGs. There's actually, there's, there's no way, right? It's on 300 HP. Dude, I've got a... It's stuck. It, it actually died. That is so funny, but also so annoying. It died to two mid-level RGs. I mean, that's quite... I don't even know how to react to that. That's just so funny. <laughs> a Rex with 10k HP and 500 melee couldn't handle two RGs. That's really, that's really cool. If my RG fucking dies to this... Let's kill the low one first, holy shit. Right, that's 246 RG dead. Oh my god, this RG might die. I need to harvest this body. I want to find out what HP these things were. I'm on 14 HP, can this body stop? 4k HP. Jesus. Like, I'm actually fucking flabbergasted that these RGs are doing- Like, this may as well be an online rate with how fucking annoying these RGs were. Did I have a good saddle at least? No. Thank guys, god these guys weren't online. Their teams were packing. <laughs> it's actually quite mad. Right, well, let's secure the raid at least. Destroy the bed. This has never been so stressful. An offline raid on a stone base. We lost our fucking Rex. That's actually so funny. All right, Smithy, we have a lot of stuff to be fair, which we do need. Paste metal, a torch blueprint, 298. Paste oil, paste is really nice. I don't even know if we can carry this metal back to base though, to be honest. We have to use our weight carefully here, we've only got 900 weight on the Sanji. Each metal stack will be 150. Box, loads of stone, wood, it's not actually that great. We got a couple pearls off it, which is probably enough to make a C4 deck, to be honest. And some gunpowder. But overall, it could be a lot better, fuck. Rest in peace, Chonky! Holy shit, I was not expecting to lose a Rex to this bullshit. Well, at least we don't have to take the Rex back now. <laughs> We're gonna have to do two runs of this. We used like 10 nades on that, so that is worth, but we lost the Rex. But I mean, after seeing the Rex, how good the Rex was against those two RGs, I don't even want to fucking keep it. <laughs> like, what the hell was that? Losing that RG was such a blow, man. It really does suck. Right, we'll chuck all of this in here. Those pearls are quite nice. I do underestimate those pearls, the value of those pearls. Right, let's grab this metal. Nothing else I really want. And we're back. This metal is actually quite nice. And, all that, and those pearls and that paste, like, this is probably one of the most profitable raids so far. But I mean, it wasn't without a loss. Don't worry about that, boys. The Rex has got us covered on that front. This paste is nice, because I'm kind of worried about, like, because I went to Swamp Cave on my frog, which kind of got oofed. So, um, that's been keeping the paste stream alive for now. How is it 3 a.m. again, man? Well, so I need myself some good RGs. Like ASAP, because this fucking level 130 is not cutting it at all. Well, boys, that looks to be a wrap for day four. Um, watch this be a 150 stack that I have to tame. Level 20. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Bit hopeful. Watch this one be a 150 just getting beat up. I thought that said 140 for a second. I think it, that is going to be it for the, the night. I'm hoping we survive. We have a load of plants grown and four turrets, which means the plants can't be rocketed, which is the main thing. So they are going to have to soak the plants, or just run up and take take stuff out of them. Probably going to drop my tames in here. Drop everything down this fucking fuckfest hole. Oh, Anki, you really got to make things difficult, huh? This is a very much a stack of tames right now, but it'll work, I suppose. There we go. This will definitely make me not get raided, 100%. I think we're in a fairly decent spot. Maybe I'll move this metal, because we might as well, right? But yeah, it's 3 a.m. I'm going to sleep. Hopefully we survive another night. I'd really like to get another day of playing, because I could get I could do so much in this one day of playing. So let's pray we survive, I guess. We'll turn this fabricator off because it's gonna be loud as fuck. And yeah, I shall see you guys tomorrow, if I'm not raided. Bye bye. The dawn of the fourth day. 
da, 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 da. Let's see if we've been raided, shall we? I do not have high hopes because I've been gone for like 12 hours, but we'll see. Um, there's not many people on right now. It seems like it's really early for NAs, so we'll see. No shot! My shit's flying. Wow. Nothing happened at all. I was not expecting that. Well, that happened. So yeah, going forward, I definitely want to get some heavies made today. It's going to be a real, like, tough thing to do as a solo, but we'll have to do it. I also want to get X-Plants, like, properly spammed out. I might just stay in this location, dude, like, honestly. At this point, I think I might as well. It's fitted the series long enough. Let's just get a grip of how much fur we need. Okay, so fur is running out fairly quickly on these. We should probably go try and get a dung beetle as well, if I can. What do we need for bug repellent, which is probably what I'm going to need to get one. Citronel, carrots, narcotics. I, do I have any from drops? No, they're probably all spoiled. I also need a Quetzal, like badly. I also still need to find Sazon. Sazon, or whatever. The, whatever. I, I still don't know how to pronounce their name, but I just need to find them, man. It's really annoying that I can't find them. Ooh, C4 pearls. It's a nice little drop, can't lie. Nothing at Pat Cave, which is kind of surprising. What is this type of Stalin? Oh, this is where Stalin were built. Makes sense now, they got raided. Wonder by who, though? They had a fabricator and stuff, maybe they had top. Hmm. Okay, that's something I kind of need. No, I don't think we can take all of it. We can take like half, but yeah, we definitely can't. Ooh, 135 Tyranodon. I'm definitely gonna go back because that's gonna be my new scouting dino. Unfortunately, my last Tyranodon got executed by that tribe of Slapper or something that I promptly raided afterwards. <laughs> What stats have you got? 184 weight, 315 stamina. That, the weight is good. I'll actually take that. I'm either hoping to find a good Stego Trico Carbo, good PT, or a base over here. Any of those would be absolutely splendid. This does look barren, to be fair. But that raft still hasn't been raided. I have four grenades on me, so I'd try. <laughs> I could. I also do kind of want to get a good Pelagornis, because they're good for getting poly. 135 Pelagornis. Fuck it, right? I assume I'll be able to knock that out with the Boulder and Tranks, right? <laughs> I assume you can headshot Pelagonis is for more talk. I hope you can. I've actually never... Okay, it took two tracks to knock out. Never mind. Don't know what, if those stats are remotely good, but I want a Pelagonis because I want Polymer, so we'll get one. I'm pretty sure they would reduce the weight of Pelagonis too. Uh, of, with the, you know what I mean. Let me actually just check. For a 135 Peli, we need... Oh, it takes fish meat. Shit. How do we get fish meat? We have to find like a... Can we kill Sabertooth Salmon for them? We can find a lead, maybe. I hear a lead down here, I think. Yes. Will I be able to get down there in time to get the thing, though? I wish I had flips right now. <coughs> oh, fuck you, shark. Come on, lead. Give me your f fucking meat. Okay, that's 50 raw prime fish meat. That's all I need. Ah, the shark's on me. RG, help. Get over here, you bitch. There we go. Didn't realize it would give me 50 prime fish meat from one scrape. We've got raw prime fish meat. That was actually surprisingly easier than I thought it would be. Where's the pally? I think it's in this little thing. Yeah. Hello, sir. One fish meat does 7.7%. All right, you can have all this fish meat. This is all you, pal. Okay, the ragdoll buggy bodies have not stopped an ASA, that's for sure. All right, boy, eat up. This might enter the team, actually. 96%, are you kidding me? Um, hopefully it gets like 200 weight at least and then like 400 stem. Oh, hi, Carbo. <laughs> Hello, sir. Uh, 201, 200 weight, almost 400 stamp. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a PT, right? It works for me. But we have the Pelagonas to tame as well. Hello, sir. How are you doing? You've got 267 weight. You can eat up on all that prime. I have no use for that. 2k HP. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even. I have no clue about Pelagonas stats. If I'm gonna be honest with you, but back to base. Well, we have found our Quetzal, level 25. So that is big. And there's also a 130 Tyranodon right there. I'm going to go ahead and knock out that Tyranodon. And I'm also going to probably come back and get that Quetzal. Because we do need a Quetzal. Having a low level is good as well. And we have a Quetzal saddle already. Where was this Tyranodon? Right here. It was a 130, I believe. So that's shit. Very shit. I'm probably going to have to do the grapple to the RG technique where you just shoot it. So yeah, I'm probably going to go ahead and try and grab that Quetzal. But I also don't want to lose track of that PT. Uh, I'm going to try and saddle up the... PT and the Pelagornis. I've also got to figure out where I can hide these things because I don't. <laughs> this little dino pen is going to get very, very crabbed very quickly. And let's see if we can make a Pelagornis saddle. We should have loads of PT saddles around. I actually need to learn the Pelagornis saddle and engram. Oh, it's literally exactly the same as a PT saddle. Chitin fiber hide. It's literally the exact same cost as well as a PT saddle. That's interesting. We'll take the good crossbow as well because we we'll need that to knock out the Quetzal. We'll repair our flat because we might as well. For now though, let's go get that Quetzal, boys. 
That's a 1 for 5 RG right outside base. Fuck me, there's so much shit I need to tame. In fact, maybe we knock out the RG first, because I can just leave that taming pretty much by our base. This is like perfect, because I need the better RG. That level 134 RG is not handling things well enough. Oh, you bitch. 5,000 hours solo player cannot trap an RG. <laughs> there we go. This thing actually kind of looks slow. Oh, never mind. It just knocked out. That knocked out really quickly. 180 melee, but the stam's good and the health's good. But now, onto the bigger picture. The Quetzal. And we found the Quetzal again. That was very easy. Now, I do want to test a little strategy that I came up with, which is literally just jumping off onto the Quetzal. Right, now we need to get this RG above the Quetzal, really. We'll get rid of the parachute, because I can't see shit. I would like to hit it in the head, but I'm not too concerned if I don't hit it in the head. This is how we solo tame Quetzals, everyone. Go down in the redwoods, that would be ideal. It's actually really fast. I, I'm struggling to catch up with it here. How much more are you going to need to take to, get, to fucking go down, bro? The amount of shots I'm pummeling this thing with. There's a good crossbow too. Oh, there we go, it's down. Nice. Where is it? There it is. No Trudon, not a chance. To be fair, I'm not too bothered about the effectiveness at all. Yeah, right now we need a shit ton of prime. What stats does this thing have? 2000 HP, 848 weight. You know what, for a level 25, I'm not really fast. And that is just what I need, baby Fiomia. Hello there. 11 prime. Probably is enough to insta tame this thing. And now I just need to find some more prime for the Quetzal. Why is this baby taking more hits than the fucking adult? There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna start harvesting it with my character now, because that's gonna give me 12 prime. Hello, Mr. Quetzal. You almost woke up on me, didn't you? You little bitch. Speed you up first and foremost. My god, you almost had me there. But now we need all this prime. Each one does 13%. I think that was 13%. 87%. Needs like one more bite, I think. And yeah, once we tame this thing, I think the plan is literally just going to be... Oh, well. I think the plan is now literally just to skybox it. 880 weight, 2.4k HP. Yeah, we'll, we'll have you, mate. Nice one. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to keep this Quetzal safe. It'll just get sniped. Tribes are probably not going to like me having a Quetzal, and I'm quite known on the server now for messing up everyone's shit. I think we'll skybox this thing, because I don't really want to have it, like, by my base. And I don't really need to have... I don't, it doesn't really have that many use cases other than just picking up Stegos and shit. I'm not going to do a fucking metal run with it. Fuck that. But let's feed the 145 RG now. But yeah, we've made quite a bit of progress in the Tames department. The main thing we're really missing is an Angler, so we can get lots of pearls and electronics. Quetzal Saddle, 42 armor. Perfect. That means I don't need to waste pearls on crafting an actual PT set. But I think what I'm gonna do, get the shit RGs moved, because I don't really need them here. I can just skybox them with the Quetzal. And this limited space in the Dino Pen needs to be used for the good stuff. Like the good RGs. We only have really one good RG. And the PTs as well, I suppose. We can keep there. So I would rather leave them up at the skybox where no one's gonna really find them than... For one, these RGs serve no purpose for me right now. Uh, I guess they're nice to have in case I ever need them, but... Alright, we're at Skyboarder. So we'll leave this thing here. We'll leave this on passive. And this thing should just stay that stay up here. I just used my parachute early. I'm gonna. Ah, oh, I hate my life. You know what? Fuck it. We'll stomach the uh, the fool. Argentavis level two one six. What stats did you get? Six seventy two weight. That's actually pretty good. I am not gonna complain about that. I mean, for a one four five, it's drastically better than this RG that we have. I just need to level it up, kind of. Is that an Alpha Raptor? Hey, 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 boy. That's how we level this thing up. There's a note round here. Actually, I'm gonna go grab that before I get this. Give me this first, and then we'll call the Alpha Raptor with this note. That'll fully level up this RG, hopefully. It's not level 10 either, so might give us a decent amount of levels. There we go. 41. <laughs> I would make it, if I was going to make it a battle RG, I would, make, I would upgrade the melee a lot. Will we get 1500 stam first off? Get like 1.5k weight, I think. Because 1.5k weight is good enough. Get like 5k HP. And then, I don't know what else I want. Melee goes up by 8%. You know what? I'm happy with this. 259 RG. That's really fucking good. It's a, like double the level of the one I had before. So we'll take that. Yeah, I think we'll name this like Jesus. This, this RG is Jesus right now. So I'm finally going to make a fridge. Um, it's been a long time coming. I just need to make 10 electronics. So yeah, I've had loads of stuff continually spoiled that I kind of wish didn't spoil. And it's time to finally change that. Finally a fridge. Do need to figure out where I'm going to place it, but can I put that, this in here? Oh, I can. That works well, actually. Nothing good, really. Let's get out of here, man. 
This place is spooky. Man, none of these stegos are any good. 95, 45, and 20. Like, come on, I haven't seen a single good stego this whole while. I still haven't found where Susanna built. Like, what the fuck? But let's check if someone's built on Kana. I doubt they're in the actual cave itself, but... Oh! He's, don't tell me this is Travel of Cezanne. No, bang bus. Oh, shit. What is going on there? Holy... Wait, is that only Plantex? If that's only Plantex, I can just rocket them all. Dude. So these guys online, first of all. They are, they've are they been gone for 27 minutes. They literally only have Plantex. They have a Giga. I don't see any turrets, at least. Dude, what are these guys doing? The Plantex is going to be annoying, but that's only stone. I have a 110 Giga. 266 Rex. Oh no, they do have turrets, never mind. Is that one turret? No wonder it's hard for them to get electronics. That one turret though means that we can't just rocket it all. Are they, do they have a turret that I'm just not seeing? Oh, they have a turret on that side too. It's just a fuck ton of Plant X. What if I got a Titan? <laughs> if that's even possible. The thing is, there are so many places that their actual main loot could be. But it's obvious that they don't have turret coverage on everything, right? Like, I could rocket that stone box. For sure. If I dropped on top of here, dropped on this higher level, proned, that turret wouldn't shoot me, got the shit out of these two things, and then just blew my way down. Maybe? But then the issue is how do I get out of that situation? I'm just thinking of it because the two, the two buildings I need to get into are this building here, and that building there. This is so crazy how they fucking built this. Or even if I just cannon their gate. That might have to be the play, you know, can them again just see spin in there. And so that was a pretty big find. But I still hadn't found Zazan, and that bugged me more than anything. Regardless though, I had a lot to think about on my way back to base, and I was theorizing plans in my head about how I'd get into that massive compound. But guys, that's where I'm going to end today's episode. If you did enjoy it, please feel free to leave a like, because it does really help me out. Thank you very much for 150,000 subscribers, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.